zinazohitaji bila kubagua kabila rangi nafasi katika jamii au dini and so from the very beginning this church has continued to consider the holistic approach in the development of human irrespective of their color race or any discrimination nasema hongereni sana i want to congratulate you so much wapendwa waumini beloved believers mabibi na mabwana ladies and gentlemen mafanikio yote tunayoyaona all the success that we can see that I've mentioned above could have not been achieved if our country was not peaceful. And I want to, 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 to agree with uh, Dr. Ted, uh, Ted Wilson in, in what he said. Na mimi nimekuwa nikikumbusha jambo hili kila mara ninapopata fursa ya kuzungumza na viongozi wa dini na waumini wao. I have always reiterated the same thing every time I meet religious leaders together with the believers. Nafanya hivyo kwa kuamini kwamba mnayo nafasi kubwa ya kuombea nchi yetu kila siku bila kuchoka ili amani tuliyonayo umoja, upendo na mshikamano wetu Viendelee katika taifa letu hili la Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania. I do so believing that you have opportunity to pray tirelessly for the peace of our country so that it may prevail in, in whatever situation. Amani ni sharti la kwanza katika maendeleo ya binadamu. A peace of peace is a, it's agenda number one in the development of uh, human human being. Bila amani hakuna kinachoweza kufanyika. Without peace we cannot do anything. Iwe katika nchi hata ndani ya familia zetu whether it is for the country or for the family amani na utulivu wa nchi yetu ni baraka kubwa kutoka kwa Mwenyezi Mungu peace and tranquility in our country is a blessing from our heavenly father tumeona wenzetu majirani zetu wanavyoishi katika mateso we, na misukosuko mikubwa kwa kukosa amani we have seen the challenges that our neighbors are going through because they do not have peace inafikia wakati wanakimbia hata nchi zao at times they are forced to become refugees akina mama na watoto wanapata mateso makubwa children and uh, women are suffering serious suffering wanaume wanakimbia familia zao men and men are running away from their families watoto wanakosa elimu and the children uh, lack education hakuna hata nafasi ya kukusanyika na kumwabudu Mungu they don't even have an opportunity to come together for worship kupoteza amani katika nchi ni kukaribisha laana katika nchi losing a peace in the country is inviting a curse in the country na wasihi watu wa Mungu pigeni magoti kila siku kumuomba Mungu zaidi kubariki taifa letu hili I want to plead with the, with you people of God to continue kneeling and pray to God that our peace may continue to prevail Ombeni pia kwa ajili ya mataifa mengine ya Afrika yenye migogoro. I pray also for the nation, neighboring countries that have conflict or crisis. Ili uso wa Mungu uinuke na kusambaratisha laana hiyo. So that the Lord may intervene and restore peace in their countries. Baba Skofu. Uh, the, uh, the Archbishop. Mabibi na mabwana. Ladies and gentlemen. Mwaka huu ni mwaka uchaguzi mkuu hapa nchini kwetu. This is an election year in Tanzania. Let, let, Taifa letu litakuwa na jukumu zito la kuchagua viongozi katika ngazi mbalimbali. Our church has such a huge responsibility of choosing leaders of our country. Watakaoongoza kwa kipindi cha miaka mitano ijayo. We will be leading this nation for the coming five years. Bali na hilo, apart from that, tunakabiliwa na shughuli ya kura ya maoni kwa ajili ya katiba pendekezi iliyopitishwa na bunge letu mwaka jana. We will also be voting for the constitution that has been recommended. Nitumie nafasi hii kuwaomba watanzania wote kujitokeza kwa wingi kushiriki katika shughuli hizo muhimu kwa maendeleo ya nchi yetu. May I also take this opportunity to, to appeal it to all Tanzanians to, 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 to decide in a great number to participate in these two events. Katika hili natoa rai kwa viongozi na waumini wa dini zote nchini. I want to appeal also to the leaders and believers kuombea taifa letu ili shughuli hizi zimalizike kwa amani na utulivu. To pray for the peace for, for, for our nation so that these two activities can be run peacefully. Napenda niwahakikishie. I want to assure you kwamba serikali yenu imejipanga vizuri kuhakikisha inasimamia shughuli hizi kwa ufanisi mkubwa. That your government is determined to ensure that this 
two projects are completed successfully. Uh, uh, dear leaders, uh, religious leaders, beloved believers, may I also take this opportunity to appeal to all believers of different denominations in the world to continue bearing with one another respecting one another and cooperating with one another our country has been placed apart from the different religious affiliations Tanzania uh, the unity between Tanzanians has continued and the people of Tanzania respect one another and love each other. I pray that this uh, grace will continue. Uh, we in the government are determined to ensure that uh, we are uh, we will continue to ensure that uh, uh, religious liberty is maintained. We will never allow a person or any religious group to rise and abuse other people's faith. This is a great sin. Baba Scoff, Ted Wilson, Yongozi uh, Wadini, Mabibi, na Mabwana. Uh, the, uh, the Archbishop Ted Wilson, religious leaders, ladies and gentlemen. Before I end my speech, I allow me to remind you one important item that each one has to consider seriously, and this is issue the issue of morals in our in our country, especially to our young people. Our communities face a serious challenge, moral challenge, especially on youth. There are many things that are said about this. Some attributed to the uh, technological growth. But we as the people of God, we should not so easily uh, justify such weaknesses. If the speed of ICT growth is affecting the growth of our children, why don't we also increase the speed of uh, nurturing our children? I appeal to the religious leaders work hard to teach our young people morals. As we bring up our children, let us remember to teach them the importance of work. Let us raise them in the way that they will value work. Let us not just leave them idle to play with the gadgets, electronic gadgets. We should never allow this. The Bible in the second Corinthians chapter uh, chapter three verse ten it says, If a person does not want to work, he should also not eat. Baba Scoff, Ted Wilson. The, the Archbishop Ted Wilson. Ndugu wa umini. Dear believers. Mabibi na mabwana. Ladies and gentlemen. Kwa kumalizia hatuba yangu. Kwa mara nyingine. As I come to the end of my speech. Kwa mara nyingine ni shukuru wangozi wa kanisa. La wa Edwintista wa sabato. Kwa kunialika kwa mgeni rasmi. Katika tukio hili muhimu la kihistoria. Once again I want to thank the Adventist Church leadership. For inviting me to be the guest of honor. During this event. Na. Pia ni wapongeze miongozi wa kanisa hili kanda ya Afrika Mashariki. I want also to congratulate leaders of this church in the East Central Africa. 
kwa kazi nzuri ya kusimamia shughuli za kanisa na nawatakia nyote kazi njema ili bwana wa mapuno atakaporudi akute mahala yenu yamefurika i pray that uh, i want to congratulate them for the good work that they have done and i pray that uh, god will bless you so that uh, when he comes uh, the lord of the harvest when he comes he will also find you ready sasa ni nizungumzie kidogo kwa muhtasar yale yalotolewa mashangamoto zilotolewa na mchungaji Mwakalonge. Allow me briefly to address the challenges that were highlighted by Pastor Mwakalonge. Kwanza napenda kumshukuru sana. First of all, I want to thank him so much. Kwa hotuba yake nzuri sana alotoa. For his uh, good speech that he delivered. Kwa maelezo makubwa aloyaeleza katika shughuli mbalimbali zinazofanywa na kanisa. The way he uh, outlined the activities that are done by the church. Lakini vile vile kwa kutufunua macho mambo mengi yanayofanywa ambayo tulikuwa hatuyajui. But also for by opening our eyes on some of the things that are done that we are not aware of. Lakini ningependa ni muhakikishie kuwa. Uh, but I want to assure him that serikali ya Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania the government of the United Republic of Tanzania itaendelea kila siku daima kuheshimu na ku shirikiana na vyombo vyote na madhehebu yote ya dini katika nchi. We'll continue always to cooperate and respect to respect and cooperate with the, all our, our religious institutions. Kama nilivyokuisha kusema milango ya serikali yetu iko wazi. As I said earlier the our doors are open. Na tuko karibu na kila kiongozi wa kila dini kila madhehebu aweze kushirikiana na sisi wakati wa wote anavohisi pana haja ya kufanya hivyo. And we want every religious leader to come to us so that we may share and cooperate in whatever area he thinks that we need to share. Ninapenda kumhakikishia kwa sala lake na viwaja tutalishughulikia. I want to assure him that we will work on your request on plots. Lakini lazima tukumbuke na tukubali kwa jiji letu kama sasa hivi lilivyo limejaa. Uh, but we must also accept that uh, we have a challenge because uh, we do not really have space enough in the city. Lakini tunazungumza na wale wanaoshiriki wanaohusisha na maswali ya kugawa viwanja kwa nini siwezekani kukusaidia ni zaidi kama nafasi zipo. But I will talk to those who are responsible to see the possibility of helping us. Swali la uhuru wa kuabudu siku ya Jumamosi. Regarding the freedom of worship on on Saturday. Hili ni jambo ambalo lazima lichukuliwe na lizungumzwe kitaifa kabisa kwa sababu ni haki ya kila mtu kuabudu. This must be spoken because it's the right of everybody to worship. Na na kukumbusha tu kama kuna kitu katika utekelezaji wetu wa mambo yetu ya kiserikali alikubaliki basi diuhakikishie kwa linafikisha katika vyombo vinavyohusika ili lizungumzwe lizingatiwe na tupate ufumbuzi wa We will address this if there is any challenge I want to assure you that uh, we will do our best to ensure that it is being addressed and of course solved Lazima lakini tukumbuke kwa nchi yetu lazima ipate utaratibu wa sheria tulizokuwa nazo However we must always remember that uh, our country is led by the rule of law. Kuhusu kulinda uwekezaji na wakanisa secondary kuvamiwa. Hili nalo litafanyia kazi. Regarding the invasion of our secondary school in in, in Mbeya, we will also work on this. Kwa sababu kwetu sisi serikalini kila mwekezaji ana haki ya kulindwa. Kwa sababu hiyo ni dhima tulochukua ndio maana tumewakaribisha na tumewapa fursa ya kuwekeza katika nchi. We do believe that every investor has the right to be protected and that's why we allowed them to invest. So we will work on that. Kwa hivyo napenda nikuhakishie baba askofu kwa haya yote tuliyosema na changamoto ulizonipa tutayashukua na tutafanya kazi. I want to assure you uh, the bishop that uh, all this that you have presented to me we will take it and work on it baada ya kusema hayo having said that kwa heshima na unyenyekevu mkubwa very very relevantly natamka kwamba i and i, I want to declare sherehe utume zimefunguliwa rasmi bwana wabariki sana the mission extravaganza officially opened may god bless you asanteni sana kwa kunisikiliza thank you for listening